Despite health challenges faced by persons with albinism, they also have to deal with stigma, discrimination, abuse, and dehumanization. An awareness campaign through a stage play. It was not easy. Even those that I approached for uh, for interviews while I was doing my, my research, most of them wouldn't want to talk to me. What do you want with me? Are you one of those who want more tea? What do you want exactly? What is it that you want with me? And it just hurt me, it really made me cry in most cases. Because I, I couldn't take it myself. When they say, I want to help you, and you tell me I want to kill you, I don't know how I'm going to do it. The department has established different ways to educate people on albinism. A book, Understanding Albinism, has been published. Support groups and inclusive groups have also been formed. Deputy Minister of Social Development, Hendrieta Bukhopane Zulu, says people's negative perceptions on albinism have to be changed. It is a sad story for Africans uh, that our belief system, it's a painful reality to people with albinism. The things that we do to them and what they go through, but also our superstitious beliefs that we have been raised with, that they don't die, they disappear. When you celebrate human rights, you also have to affirm people. So whilst we are still calling them Maswafika, Stwana, Inkau, we have not given them the status that human beings are given. As a result, we are unable to respect them. Candy Silica has albinism. She says being accepted by family is very fundamental. She feels lucky to have never faced any prejudice. The 28-year-old who grew up in Kimberley says she's one of the very few who was never made to feel different. You have to learn in order to, to accept yourself. And then after that, you teach them to accept you too. After that, it's like water under a bridge because automatically some people don't understand. And that's where the teaching comes in. The audience believe more educational and informative shows on albinism are needed. We need more of such projects in our communities, in the location, to inform and educate the public about our people living with albinism. It was so emotive. It really um, create more than awareness. The Mama, I Want the Black That You Are play will be showcasing in 10 schools across the province. Refilo Mekwa, SBC News, Kimberley.